This um, slide here, it gives you some quick hitters and things to consider as you're thinking about how to manage your pitcher's volume. It's really important to understand every pitcher is different. Some are going to be workhorses. They are going to be able to throw um, a higher volume of pitches, not only on a given day, but maybe back-to-back -back days, uh, and then need recovery, where some pitchers who are not um, as heavy of a workload are going to need more recovery days between their bullpens. So again, it's important to learn your pitcher, um, learn what her body needs, and the only way to do that is to track results to see how um, the plan is impacting the result. Um, it's also really important that you understand where your pitcher is during the training phase. If you are trying to develop and increase velocity, so if we're in a velocity improvement phase, we are going to throw less pitches um, with much higher intensity, and she is going to need more recovery time. If we are in a command phase of her pitching, we are going to throw um, maybe with less intensity and more frequency so we can develop more um, muscle memory and really fine tuning the feel. So in understanding what each of your pitchers need, it's important that we're tracking that and tracking the results so we can figure out how to best adjust their plan. Other factors to consider is the timing of their days off. Some pitchers are going to perform better on game day with a day off prior to. Others are going to pitch better on game day if they've had a light bullpen before. So again, that's something that you have to work through and experiment with um, in the weeks leading up to game day so that you know what you need to do best for them.